السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ربي اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي My name is Buthayn Al-Ansari and you if you find my name is too difficult to be remembered please call me Buthayn Let me start with this Today I'm going to talk about the power of the inner voices. Ali, did I pronounce the P right? Because he always teasing me with my English language. I, I cannot differentiate between P and B. Why? If we go back <laughs> to our study, uh, studying English subject, we have only two hours a week to study English. So I developed my language by myself to study what my parents want me to study. Because I was a good student, I graduated with a 92 percentage in high school, they insist me to study medicine. So I said, guys, I don't like medicine. Just uh, to please my mother and my father, I uh, specialized in biomedical science. Imagine, I have to understand what is Petri dish, what is centrifuge? What is media for virus to be grow and eat these things? And I don't know about all these words. Just I listen to Celine Dion and Michael Jackson and Madonna. These words, I can understand them. So I have to open dictionaries and go to the library and build my own language. And I'm today here speak English. Maybe not that good like your English. But anyway, this is, didn't stop me. Today I will talk about the power of the inner voices. And thank you, Ali, for developing the slides with me. And he's attending with my daughter, Ghada, and Abdullah, the big fans of me. Thank you. <laughs> so usually, we listen to two types of voices, positive voice as well as the negative voice. And today, I'm going to teach you how to shut down the negative voice and go on with the positive inner voice. In any events, in any occasions, under any circumstances, you listen, you cannot. You don't do it. You cannot do it. It is impossible. Uh, you are not that good. You will fail. This is impossible to do it or to execute it. So we need to shut down these voices and grow up and face challenges and grab opportunities. So can you read this with me, please? Sometime in schools, universities, at our events or any, uh, let's say, conferences or uh, occasions that we attend, we may listen to these voices. But today, we will do this. Yes, and everyone can do it, believe me. Just listen to your positive inner voice. Like I said in my introduction, I went uh, from the science field to the MBA. Studying MBA opened a lot of doors to Buthayna. And I was insisting to empower women in Qatar because women in everywhere need to be empowered, need, need to be equipped by tools and equipment to survive. There are some women that are not smart enough or they are not strong enough. So that's why I decided to build and initiate projects that will enable them to uh, be different, be successful, and they can differentiate themselves. My first project, let's talk to, to, to you about it. The first project was the Qatariyat magazine. It was in 2009. Qatariyat magazine is about empowering women in business. I tried to build a platform to expose them to the community, to talk about their achievements and what they, they did in their life, about their successful stories, their shops, their business, their education, and I adopted at local writers to let them write in this magazine. It was 2009. Then 2010, 2011, 2012, what, the, what did happen? The social media came on. Nobody reads my magazine. And I felt bad. It keeps 
accumulating in the shelf of the lib libraries and uh, in, the, in the markets as well. So my inner voice told me, mm -mm, Buthayna, you have to stop in, uh, developing the, this type of reading uh, platform. I stopped it. My inner voice has told me that this is not a failure. This is just the beginning of the journey. If you remember the, the drawing of the heartbeat, if it is only straight one, that means you are dead. But if it's keeping up and down, that means you are alive. So we have to go up and down, like the roller coaster. If we ride it, we are happy, but we are coming forward on that. So this is what drives me. This is what telling me, Buthayna, this is not a failure. You have to try again and again. Then, in 2010, I've been as a panelist in New York, investment uh, event. So I was talking about Qatari women and the experts and the education that Sheikh Moza enabled us uh, in Qatar, how she did it for us and how we did, we did it in Qatar and all the stories that happened in Qatar. So w there are some ladies telling me, are you Qatari? Are you sure you are a Qatari woman? I said, yes. They said, we don't believe that because our movies reflected something totally different what you are, ladies. So I came back to my uh, country and I spoke to my husband. I said, I need to develop something to tell the world who we are and how we can succeed and, uh, and move and uh, grab the opportunities and shut down all the challenges. He said, Buthayna, you are good in something. Let's develop talk show. I said, come on, wait, wait, talk show need a lot of money, need a lot of investment and a huge capital to build the talk show. So I listened to my inner voice, what I'm good in it, what passion I have in it, writing. And I challenged myself to write a book with a picture that is similar to Here we go. <laughs> yeah, so one lady challenged me that I cannot do it. And you can do like Steve Jobs. I said, my, Steve Jobs is my role model. He's creative, innovative, and he think out of the box. Um, this is, um, and, and I'm like him in this thing. So I challenged her and I developed a book and I put my picture similar to his book. So my book went successfully everywhere, alhamdulillah. And I attend every meetings, every conferences. I become a panelist and I talk about my, this book. Then I listened to my inner voice, which was a wrong one. Believe me, this is the big mistake that I did. In 2017, I said, yalla, with the trend, let me develop an application, shopping online. Yalla ya Buthayna, do it. You have the capabilities, you have a strong team, you have the investment uh, capital, so yalla, let's do the online shopping application. I called it Buksha. Buksha in local uh, culture, they know what's the meaning of Buksha. Buksha means uh, a little piece of uh, material and you can grab everything in it. And I said, uh, and I, I went, and I, I went live, and I launched it and everything. Then, after one month, I said, uh -uh, this is not you. Why are you going to that side, the commercial side? You are in love with the books, and, and writing books, and developing the human being uh, skills and capabilities. So that's why I stopped it. And I didn't consider it as a failure. But I learned a lot from this experience where to develop the skills, where to develop the strong team, and from where to take the uh, money to invest this uh, project. So I moved to something that I have passion with it. Inshallah, I will launch it in the uh, end of April, an application called Safahat, which is audio books. I grab all the books and I uh, add voice to it from different fields, novels, human development uh, books, uh, poetry, everything. 
this is within Safahat. Inshallah, you will have it with the Arab stones uh, in the end of April. So I developed Safahat, and I was very happy because I did something that I have the passion to do it. And this is very important thing, that you have to do something that you have passion with it. You love it because you will continue. You will face a lot of challenge and very, very negative inner voices as well as outsider voices. Then I said, this is not enough. This is an advice from me to all of you. In your age, sometimes you didn't have the enough capital to invest or develop a project. You didn't have the strong team to enable you and assist you. You didn't have the platform or the place or the venue to execute your dreams, to execute your ideas. Believe me, don't limit yourself because of the limitation of the resources. Right, Ali, limitation? So I didn't give up. I love media. I love being in media. Because of the traditional culture, you know, I cannot be in TV always and this, but one day you will see me having my talk show. So I developed a special program called Takharif Buthain. It's a podcast. So you see in the picture, I'm holding two iPhones or mobiles. One having the music and the other one having my voice so I can create a program and broadcast it within the Instagram and you can write the Kharif Buthain and you can find it in Google. So this is what I'm saying. Don't limit yourself. Sky is the limit. And always compare to yourself to the giants. My father always telling me, Buthayna, don't benchmark yourself with ordinary people. I said, fine. And I kept this sentence in my mind. And then I came to him. I said, uh, my father, Gandhi quote saying, be the change that you want to see it in the world. I said, yes, this is a good one. I said, listen to my code. He said, what is your code? I said, don't be, and listen to this, don't be just an ordinary number in the ID cards. And you pass away, nobody will remember you. Leave a legend behind you. Let people remember you with good things, with an achievements, with the successful stories. This is very important. Then I decided to participate and contribute in different occasion, events, and I didn't say no for anything at the beginning. At your age and older than that little bit, I'm not going to tell you how old I am. This is impossible. So I participated in every occasion. Everyone called me, Buthayna, let's have a speech here. I said, yes. Do panelists, to do as a panelist here? I said, yes. Uh, interview on TV, yes. Interview on radio, yes. Interview on social media, yes. Because I want to build my name. And I want to position myself as educated Qatari women in the world. And I can speak and I can explain what I need. What did I achieve? So don't say no for any opportunities coming, knocking your doors. You will learn, you will be get, uh, mixed with other people's experience. You will listen to their obstacles, challenges, opportunity. Just learn, learn, listen, and see, and examine. Don't spend your time just watching social media and seeing other people's successful stories. What about me? I want to be like them, and more than what they do. And we can. In this country, we can. We have the right infrastructure. We have the right education. We have the right tools. We have the right mindset. Why we cannot be successful as others? This is my advice to you. Then I developed other work, the last one, in 2014. Since we always hear the word called heroes. Always heroes, heroes. What about heroes? So I developed, I have the copyright, by the way, for the word Shiroz. Others copying me. I wrote it down, I registered it. So Shiroz means a multi-strong woman uh, with a strong mindset. Because I found that 
some ladies get limited with some issues. I, I, this is not the right platform to, to talk about it. So this book is like a journey from the education life till the so social life, professional life, and what you will do after the retirement. We have to be active people and active women after the retirement. We have a lot of things to do. And this is, was my advice in this book. So last but not least, I listen to my inner voice, the positive one. What about you? You have to listen to your inner voice. And I'm always saying at the beginning, I don't want to go there, I don't want to see there, say this, this, because people think that I'm show off. But then I changed my mind. I said, no, I have to talk about it, how I did it, how did I achieve it. And these are some of my achievements, alhamdulillah, and I will never stop since I can see, speak, learn new things. I will keep going. Thank you for having me today.